Harvesting our own fresh seafood straight from the wild is an experience beyond description. At low tide, I have access to a beautiful cockle bed just outside the cottage in Scotland, and sustainably collecting a small bucket of these sweet, delicious first cousins to the clam is the inspiration for several of my recipes, including chowders, paellas, and pastas. Cockles are a nutritious source of lean protein, contain no saturated fat, and are low in calorie. The salty, briny flavor goes beautifully with nutty whole wheat pastas in fresh olive oil, garlic, onion, chili, lemon, and parsley, and is much healthier than heavy meat ragouts like sauce bolognese. The end result of this relaxing but productive hour on the beach is fresh shellfish for a perfect vongole, and in my opinion, an experience of a lifetime. I'm David Jackson. Forty years ago, I was cooking in swanky hotels and winning awards from the American Culinary Federation. Thirty years ago, I hosted a nutrition-conscious cooking series for the Hospital Satellite Network. Ten years ago, despite half a century of good eating habits, I found out that I wasn't immortal. And I'm not alone. Can doctors' orders to moderate salt, fat, and refined carbs share our plates with mouth-watering gourmet recipes? Yes, they can. Well, we've got the cockles. Harvested them yesterday. They've been pre-cooked, just gently, just very gently. The shell's open, let them cool down, and then you pick, you shuck the meat, and uh, you always have to press and make sure there aren't little trapped sand particles in them, which we already did. And we're gonna make a spaghetti a la vongole, only it's not gonna be spaghetti, it's gonna be fusilli, and it's gonna be whole wheat. Let's start. First of all, we've got the heat on here. We want a third of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. Plenty of olive oil in a vongole because there's no tomato. So it's, it's a clearish, oily sauce. Now, garlic. About, I like a lot of garlic in a vongole, so I'm smashing three here, and I've got about three more. Ah, nice sizzle. And we've got some more here, all right? So about five or six cloves. I like a lot of garlic. It's also very healthy for you. Next is a couple of chili peppers. Just regular fresh red chili peppers, and we just want to buzz right through the ends. Very small, fine mince, and the seeds are okay. These are medium heat chilies, and just about that much is perfect. Okay, there we go. Let's just get that going. We don't want it to burn. Okay, and next is the clam broth, this, or cockle broth. This is from the cooking of them. We reserved about a half cup. That goes in. Excellent, and a little white wine. About a little more than a half cup of white wine. That's about right. I'll save some for me later on. And now, some salt, not too much. Freshly ground salt, sea salt, kosher salt, any one is good. A Little bit of salt in there. That's about right, that's a fine grinder. And then black pepper. The chilies also impart heat, so the black pepper provides another layer of, of heat, but it's different, so you don't want to overdo either one. All right, there we go. And I think that's about it for right now. The parsley is gonna go on after we bring the cockles in. This just has to simmer down and reduce a little bit to concentrate the flavors. It's reduced down by about 20 or 30%. We still want it to be loose and juicy because there's a lot of pasta, which is just about perfect. Let me test. Yeah, 
It's just perfect. Okay. So, with this ready, all we have to do is first put the cockles in. That's about two, two thirds of a pound of cockles. Um, you can go as much as a pound, but this should be just about right. And these are already cooked, as you know, so all we're doing is warming them up in the sauce. Let's give them a quick stir here. Oh, that looks lovely. Okay, there we are. And now drain the pasta. And don't waste time. Get it right into the sauce. There we are. Now, still cooking away. Now, to finish the dish, loads of parsley. You can use about a half cup of chopped parsley. Could even use more if you wanted, but that's pretty good. And then that is pretty much a vongole. But I add one little extra thing. I like the freshness of some lemon zest. So I put a little of that in. Not a lot. I don't use the juice, just a little bit of the zest. It freshens up the taste of the cockles and the pasta quite well, especially with the whole wheat pasta, which has a different flavor from regular pasta. Very good, very nutty, but that little bit of lemon helps a lot. Okay? Good. And that is just about that. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. Let me turn the heat off, and we're done. Thoroughly mixed, all that olive oil, those chilies, garlic, and don't try this at home unless you know how. I think that's beautiful. Let me just grab a piece and see. Uh, that'll do. A sensible but enticing portion of fusilli vongole, featuring whole wheat pasta for extra fiber, plus cockles or clams for a boost of lean protein and that distinctive briny flavor that marries well with olive oil, garlic, onion, fresh chili, lemon, parsley, and white wine. Give this recipe a try.